viewers, it's now time for our brand new segment, Ask an Expert. The winning entrant this week comes from Michelle from Leopold, and she writes, how does a high lift jack work? A simple but a very good question. I think David Brickhill from Kmart will be the man to answer that one. Hi guys, today we're going to show you how to use a high lift jack safely and appropriately on a vehicle. So we've got our high lift down off the car. Now the beauty about being on the car is the fact that it's neat and tidy and it's out of the way. The other problem about being on the roof of the car is the fact that it's always open to the elements. And the few times every year that you may use your high lift jack, you find it very sticky and you want a smooth action with your high lift. Give it a quick spray and then pull it up and down, right? Making sure. Lock the jack in, and then just by quickly, just give it a couple of clicks with no load on it. So what we're doing is these pins here are being lubricated. This is a genuine high lift jack. ARB bring these jacks in. There's a lot of different kind of high lift jacks on the market. There's a lot of cheap ones. The beauty about a genuine high lift jack is the fact is that these pins, if they had a break, you can get spare parts for them. Also, the other importance of using high lift jacks is to make sure that you're using areas that are designed for high lift jacks to be used in. So on the back bar here at the moment, we've got a T-slot on the back of the 200, which allows us to put the high lift into it. Also, another important part is here we're on good firm ground. But if you're in sand or somewhere that's really soft, it's important to have yourself a platform under Underneath, which is solid. So if you can't find a piece of wood or carry a piece of wood with you, important to try and find yourself a good rock or something really firm that you're going to be able to put the high lift jack on. And then just be gentle to your vehicle, place it down and then it's just a matter of pulling the pin up and locking the high lift jack into action. Placing a hand at the end of the high lift jack and using the weight, simply pull it down and pull it up and that will pull the car up. Also chocking your wheels is an important part. Find some trees, some rocks, anything like that that you can chock your wheels up. Now another important part of using a high lift jack or any jacking thing makes the car very unstable. Do not get under your vehicle. When you're releasing your high lift jack, push down on the handle, easing the pressure and the pins will do all the work. This is a fully reinforced recovery point. So it's actually designed to actually be a high lift jack point on the front of the bull bar. Don't want to be putting it in between here and you definitely don't want to be using it on sides of the wings of your bar as well. So it's really important that you use the areas that are designed for a high lift jack. Front and rear bars, good quality ones, will always have those on them. At the end of the day, a high lift jack is a fantastic tool that we can use out in the bush. It can lift your car, it can move your car sideways, you can also use them as a winch. High lift jacks have a number of different uses. Remember that the high lift jack is dangerous and always keep your face away from that handle. Enjoy your four wheel driving and don't forget, do it safely. Thanks David. Now Michelle's won herself a tack torch courtesy of Light Force. And is also in the running for the major prize of a $500 amphibian performance clothing outdoor adventure pack.